Okay, so in this video, we're gonna try to see what kind of information we can get about a user who's using our web app when we deploy it. And for that, what we'll do, we'll basically go to extensions, app script, doesn't have to be attached to our Google Sheets, but we're gonna use this. I'm gonna name this. And basically we'll create our do get function. And as with any other web app, it has to return some sort of HTML service. So we'll create a variable here and then we'll make an HTML service, create HTML output from file. Actually, let's do the template. It doesn't matter though. We'll do index. And then finally, we'll need to evaluate this to return HTML service. So at this point, we're gonna return that HTML service. And the other thing we're gonna need here is to create this index HTML file. So I'm gonna open this HTML and we'll call it index. Just to see that this works, we'll just add an H1. So at this point, we have this for our actual HTML file and we got this to return that HTML service. So now how can we get information about users? Now there are two options here on the sessions global we have here. So if we do sessions, we do dot, here we have this option, get active user. We also have this option, get effective user. So let's go ahead and get both of those things. And both of these, if I do a dot, see they have some other info here, like get the email or login ID. So I'm just gonna get the email on this and I'll also get the email on this one. So it should be string email, basically just email as text. So what I'll do, I'll just basically add both of those emails to our spreadsheet. I'll just go here and do logs like this as the tab name. And then I'll go here. Let's grab our spreadsheet app, our active spreadsheet. We'll call this SS as a variable. Let's also grab the tab. I'm going to call it a WS for worksheet. We're going to go get sheet by name. And the name is, I believe I called it logs. So that's that, good. And to that worksheet, we're gonna basically just log these two things. So let's just save these two things in a variable too. So this one we'll call it active user. And this one we'll call that effective user, like this. So finally, we'll grab those two things and we'll basically simply just add a new line to our spreadsheet, to our worksheet. So we'll do append row and we'll add an array and add both of those things. First one in the first column, second one in the second column. So at this point, this will be active user and this is gonna be our effective user over here. So that's all I got for this. So I'm gonna save this. So what we're gonna do at this point, we're just gonna deploy this. So I'm gonna go deploy, do a new deployment. And web app, I'll just call this head because it's the first one. And this is the account I use right now to build this. So I'm going to basically keep this one, execute as this account. And who has access, instead of only myself, I'm gonna switch this to anyone with Google account. So with these settings, if I go ahead and deploy this, it should give me a URL. Now you can see we get this message and the reason I'm getting this is because I was getting information from that spreadsheet and I need to basically make sure I give access to that spreadsheet.
So now we got our URL. So if I click on this, that should open this page. See, it says hello. Now let's just go quickly to our spreadsheet and you can see how I got a log when I open that page. It says active user is this account and effective user is the same account. So if I go back and reload this page, we should add another line to our spreadsheet. And again, it's the same user. So now let's try to open the same link with a different user's account and see what happens. So here we are. Let's go ahead and paste that link. I'm already logged in as a different user on this one. So let's see what happens when we go back and check the results. So if I go back and check out our spreadsheet, you can see that as the effective user, we still get this account, but as our active user, we get nothing. So we can't get access to that user's information without that user's permission. But as effective user, that would be the user under which name the script actually runs. What that means is that when I did this deployment, if you remember when I was setting the options here, execute as, that would be this user, so that would be our effective user always with this deployment setup. So now let's switch this to a different setup. So again, I'm gonna go back to manage deployments and we'll add it this deployment and I'll just do a new version. And what we'll do, we'll change this execute as to user who's basically running the actual page, running the app. And again, we'll choose anyone with Google account. So at this point, if I hit deploy, it should keep the same link because I modified the page. So I'm gonna hit done. So now what's gonna happen when I go as the other user and refresh this, see, it's gonna give me this. It's basically asking me, are you sure you wanna give permissions to this app? So I'm gonna click review permissions. We're gonna use this account now. And then see, it's asking me that this is gonna basically need to access spreadsheets. And the reason for that is because one of the lines in our actual script was to actually go to a spreadsheet and write new lines to a spreadsheet. So that's why now it wants this user to give access. So I'm gonna hit allow and we should run and we should also get an error. So I'm gonna run this. So C says, you do not have permissions to access the requested document. The reason for that is because we're trying to right now write a new line to a spreadsheet here, and this user doesn't have access to the spreadsheet. So if we want that user to be able to actually do something with its spreadsheet, we need to give this user access to it. So if I go ahead and do share, and then add that user here, So now I have that user as one of the people I share this spreadsheet with. So let's go back as that user and refresh the page and see what happens. So I'm gonna go here and reload. And you can see that renders and gives us a low. And now if we go to our spreadsheet and take a look, see it did actually log this. And it says that both our active user and effective user is this person. So we can't get information to that person's account without that person giving us permission to use their information. But that also means that if we use any services and we basically link to a document or something like that, we need to make sure that that person actually has permissions to do something with that spreadsheet. So if we want that user to add a line to the spreadsheet, they need to be an editor here. Otherwise, that's not gonna work. 
So now at this point, we should be able to use that information in our app. So we can go here, for example, and maybe pass that user's information, this active user to our index file and render something on the page with that person's email information. So the way we can do that in this template before we evaluate it, we will create a template first. So I'm going to copy this. We'll call it template. And here we'll not evaluate this. I will grab that line and move it down to here someplace. And what we'll do here, we'll basically get this HTML template. And then once we got this information about our users, we'll take that template and attach some information to that template. So for example, we'll grab this active user like so, and we'll pass it to that template side. And then after that, we can actually evaluate that template like this. And then we're going to basically return that HTML service. So now let's use this active user information in our HTML. So we can go here and create a paragraph or something like that. And in here, we're going to use some scriptlets. I don't know how I get that dot here, but nevertheless, I'm going to paste that variable here. And before this, we'll say you are logged in as, and we'll put that email. So I'm going to save this and we need to redeploy this. So now I'm going to hit done. So at this point, if we go back and look at this application as that user, I'm going to refresh this. See, it says you're logged in as that email. And if I open that same page here, see, that's going to say you're logged in as this because we're getting that user's information and now we can use it in our application. So that pretty much covers how this session active user and session get effective user works. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.